So you just joined your Minecraft world, or you were playing it for a bit, and then you were suddenly kicked out of your Minecraft world and given the following message. Internal exception, colon, java.io, dot io exception colon an existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host now this video is going to show you how you can fix this issue and the main reason why you're receiving this message is that the server that's hosting the Minecraft world doesn't have sufficient specs to host your server. Now this may be due to your server growing a lot and therefore more players have connected and your server can't handle the volume of people anymore or it could never handle the volume in the first place if it's your first time joining your server. So if you are the admin of your server, keep on watching because I'm going to show you how you can fix this. So what you'll need to do is upgrade your server to better specs. And before we do that, I just want to show you what the terminal basically says. So as you can see, the terminal here basically says killed. And this message basically means that your Minecraft server is being stopped because of your server's specifications. So to fix this issue and get your server running, we'll need to upgrade our actual server that's hosting this Minecraft world. To do this, navigate to your browser, and then what you'll need to do is you need to go to your server host's admin dashboard. The server host that I use is called Vulture, and it's my preferred host to create a Minecraft server world. This is because it's very easy to deploy a Minecraft server, and because it's very easy to upgrade your server once your server gets popular and more players play on your server. If you want to host your Minecraft server on Vulture, I'll put my referral link in the description where you'll be able to try this server host free for 30 days so you'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. Alright so to upgrade your server on Vulture what you need to do is click on settings. Once you're in settings on the left hand side here click on change plan. Once you're here you'll have the ability to change your plan which basically means change your server specs. So as you can see my current plan is cloud compute, I have one CPU, one gigabyte of RAM, 25 gigabyte SSD and one terabyte of bandwidth. Now if you left click on this arrow here you'll be able to see the other plans that you can choose from. Let's go with the first upgradable option here, which is one CPU and two gigabytes of RAM, 55 gigabyte SSD and two terabyte transfer speed. So simply left click on it and then press upgrade. It will then ask you, are you sure you want to change the plan? You're just going to tick yes and then click change plan. And if we look closely at the specs here, you can see the RAM is now two gigabytes and the storage is now 55 gigabytes. So it has already been upgraded. Now what we need to do is SSH back into our server. So I'm just going to close my SSH client because it's most likely timed out by now. And then I'm going to copy the IP address of my server and minimize our browser here and minimize our game. Once you're here, open up your SSH client, mine is putty because I'm on Windows, paste in your IP address of your server and click open. Once you've done that, just maximize your terminal window here, go back to your browser and then copy the password. And as you can see, my username is root. So I'm just going to type in root here because this is my username and then hit enter. And now you'll need to put in your password. So we've already copied our password and all you need to do to paste into SSH terminals is right click and then hit enter and you should be logged into your server. I'm just going to type clear here to clear the terminal window. And now the first thing you're going to need to type is screen and then hit enter. Screen basically allows you to close your SSH terminal once your server is running and this allows your server to continue running while you're offline. As you can see it then says press space or return to end, you're just going to hit enter which is the same as return and now all you need to do is run your server. To do this we're going to need to copy the minecraft start server command and you can get this from minecraft.net. I'm just going to go back to my browser here and go to the next tab. To get the start server command all you need to do is go to the following URL www.minecraft.net slash en dash us slash download slash server. Once you're here, in purple, you'll be able to see the command to start your Minecraft server. Highlight it all and then copy it and then go back to your SSH terminal window and right click to paste. Now my .jar file is not called Minecraft server jar it's actually called server.jar so I'm just going to delete this name and type in my server.jar file name which is server .jar and then I'm going to retype no GUI which was there previously before I deleted it and then just hit enter to run your server. Alright guys, our server is currently running, so now all we need to do is open up our Minecraft client here and then click on back to server list and then find the Minecraft server from the server list that was causing you to lose connection. For me it's this one here, left click on it and then click join server.
And there we go guys, our fully functional Minecraft server. And now because you've upgraded your server, you will not be getting that error anymore. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. See you on the next one guys. Why is it so hard to let you go?